हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल दिस इज डॉक्टर सुधा वर्मा डॉक्टर बाय प्रोफेशन एंड अ टीचर बाय पैशन आई एम योर बायोलॉजी टीचर विद अ न्यू टॉपिक रिप्रोडक्शन इन ऑर्गेनिज्म एज यू ऑल नो दिस इज अवर फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ द सी बी एस सी ट्वेल्थ क्लास बोर्ड सो आई एम हेयर विद दिस चैप्टर सो बिफोर आई स्टार्ट विद दिस चैप्टर लेट मी क्लियर यू वॉट टॉपिक्स आई एम गोइंग टू कवर इन दिस वीडियो first of all we will try to understand the meaning of reproduction after that we will understand the importance of reproduction after that life span and then types of reproduction asexual and sexual reproduction in details so let us start with this video first of all let us understand the meaning what do you mean by reproduction as you all know reproduction the word itself is explaining its meaning re means again and production means to produce means to produce again what to produce again living beings so it is the process by which the all the living organism they produce the living organism or offspring or babies of their own kind by the process of reproduction you must have heard in lower classes also this what is the meaning of reproduction but in this class we will be moving higher with the more details but first of all there is a question in each and everybody's mind that what is the importance of reproduction why reproduction is important so my dear friends if there is no reproduction there is no life one day what will happen if all there is no reproduction as you know all the living organism they birth they take place their birth and after that they undergo death also and if there is no reproduction no new organisms are formed there is only birth and everybody has undergo death then you all can imagine one day the life will vanish from this earth so the importance of reproduction is to continue the life to continue the species by the living organism so reproduction is not a essential process for living a life but it is a very very important process to continue life on earth to continue the species to every living organism for the continuation of its species undergoing the process of reproduction so before i uh, start with this uh, topic in details let us understand what is life span life span means the duration between birth and death before organism undergo death and after birth it undergoes so many phases like you all can understand if a living org organism is taking birth on this earth then what will happen it will grow it will mature then it will start declining and after that undergo death so all these phases we can say that that is life span means duration between the birth and death so let us understand various phases between this duration first of all birth birth you all know every living organism has taken birth on this earth every living organism grow grow means that is the juvenile phase that is the non reproductive phase living organism cannot give rise to offspring of their own kind in this phase they are just growing they are just attaining the maturity maturity for what maturity to produce the living organism means the reproductive phase after going the juvenile phase that is non reproductive phase the living organism enters into the reproductive phase after maintaining this reproductive phase they are able to give birth to the young ones to the offsprings and after certain duration after some time this reproductive phase they get start declining and that declining process is known as aging or senescence senescence word is used for plants and aging word is used for animals and after aging or after senescence they undergo death but my dear friends mind here that is natural death not a accidental damage or accidental death accidental death is not included in this uh, life span this is natural death so i think you must have understood this topic what is life span so there are some examples i have taken for the uh, to understand the concept of life span means some all the living organism have different kind of life span like one day insect that is may fly that lives only for one day means 24 hours just in a short duration of 24 hours this insect has taken birth it has grown it has reproducing 
it has gone aging and it has gone natural death so such a short life span that is may fly the longest life span is considered is of two twice that is 300 to 400 years then we can take the example of bowhead whale which is having the life span of 150 to 200 years and parrots are having 140 years considered to be 140 years and plants they can live for thousands of years and if i talk about the human beings that their lifespan varies from between somewhere from 70 to 100 that depends upon various other factors that we'll talk about later on so this is the lifespan and the concern as our chapter name is reproduction in organism so the area of concern phase of our concern is this reproductive phase so we will be talking about this reproductive phase means we will be talking about the reproduction before i take the more details of this topic let me clear you what are the types of reproduction reproduction is of two types asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction and as you all know asexual reproduction only one parent is involved and in sexual reproduction two parents are involved all the simple organism all the unicellular organisms they are exhibiting this asexual reproduction that is a simple very simple form of reproduction only a single parent uh, is dividing giving rise to another organism you can take the example here as amoeba uh, and in sexual reproduction two parents means one is male one is female two parents are involved to show this concept of asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction the i am here with a small experiment so let me show you one experiment this i have one parent for example this is the one parent and it is its genetic material so this parent is dividing by asexual reproduction means it is simply transferring its genetic material to the other yet to the offspring so this offspring is having the same genetic material as this parent is having there is no change okay so this is the asexual reproduction means only one parent is involved and you can see there is no color change no nothing is changed same genetic material same genetic material in the baby this baby will grow and will give birth to another baby transferring its genetic material to the other baby so like this another has formed right but if i talk about sexual reproduction there are two parents are involved see this is one parent this is another parent this is the genetic material of one parent and this is the genetic material of other parent and as you know in sexual reproduction both the parents are ex giving their genetic material so let me show you if first parent has given its genetic material to the baby in sexual reproduction and this another parent has given its genetic material to the baby and as you can see now this genetic material is of its unique kind it's not resembling exactly with this parent and not exactly with this parent means this offspring has undergo variation why variation with the combination of genetic material of two parents a unique individual has formed that is known as variation i think you all have understood this concept of asexual and re sexual reproduction in which only one parent is giving its genetic material and in sexual reproduction both the parents are giving its genetic material so in asexual reproduction the organisms they are exactly identical to their parents and these are known as clones clones are the organisms which are exactly identical copy of their parents so that is known as clone morphologically and physiologically they are similar to their parents and one thing you must be knowing that asexual reproduction takes place by fish division there is only one division that is mitosis mitosis means equational division number of chromosomes they remain equal so here the cell is only dividing just increasing its number and by mitosis it is giving rise to another organism another cell which are identical to the parent organism but in sexual reproduction two types of divisions are taking place what are these this is 
mitosis as well as meiosis what happens in mitosis mitosis is a equational division in which number of chromosomes remains equal but in meiosis there is the reduction of chromosomes and we will be taking in detail also how this mitosis and meiosis takes place during sexual reproduction in the further chapters and in meiosis the number uh, it helps in the gametes formation and through this fusion of gametes the number is restored to diploid so let me explain you on the board also the mitosis and meiosis the, let's take a brief idea about the sexual and asexual reproduction in asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction in asexual reproduction only mitosis is taking place there is no change no variation means clones are formed as only one parent is involved so there is no variation but in sexual reproduction both mitosis and meiosis takes place and as you know meiosis is a reductional division meiosis is a reductional division and mitosis is a equational division with the help of meiosis gametes are formed and gametes are with haploid number of chromosome means chromosome number that get reduced to half and in sexual reproduction when the gametes of two parents fuses suppose one is male one is female when these gametes they get fused it will give rise to a diploid zygote zygote is formed but this doesn't happen in asexual reproduction in asexual reproduction only mitosis is taking place suppose let me uh, take one example this is amoeba let me take the example of amoeba amoeba divides by fission we will taking the detail in next video fission means binary fission it will splits into two cells it will give rise to two cells same what happened it has transferred a genetic material to here also to here also and there is no fusion of gametes so there is no variation so this amoeba will again divide again divide and again genetic material will be given so what you are saying there is the individuals formed by asexual reproduction are considered immortal they are considered immortal why immortal because the parent amoeba is not dying it's just dividing and dividing into two parts then these two cells will again dividing into two parts so this is not vanishing this is just dividing and dividing and dividing means one cell is dividing by mitosis giving rise to another cell another cell is dividing by mitosis to giving rise to another cells so the organisms produced by asexual reproduction they are considered immortal matlab they never die so i think you must have understood so let us uh, have a revision what we have done meaning of reproduction importance of reproduction life span we have understood we have understood the various examples we have seen the sexual and reproduction and sexual reproduction and we have gone through the differences between the two like there is no variation there are variation only mitosis is taking place mitosis and meiosis both are taking place so there is just clones are formed i exactly identical offspring and in this different kinds of individuals are formed with this this is all for today so thank you hoping to see you soon with a new video till then take care bye bye